All right, here we are in the Avalon 2004 Avalon XLS. This is a Toyota, another one as a Lexus. This is kind of like a Lexus in a way, I don't know. But here we are taking out the traction control. We're gonna release our feet off the brakes and not put our feet on the gas. So we're gonna see how it rolls on the dirt, dirt road. And uh, here we are. Here we go, as I'm just cruising down the road. And does pretty all right. And uh, now here we are going to drive about like, oh, I think I popped something. Okay, here we go. So we're also going to do a little drift and this thing should have a little beep. Traction controlled enabled. It works great. It basically helps me if I spin out of control. Here we are going to do a little drift. It's a little bit. We're going to see if, if the car can detect it. We're going to start losing control for the car. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you're actually doing this, don't do this to your own car. Because this actually can cause damage. This is just in case if you ever do, ever do skid out on a dirt road. You never want to do this just for fun, unless you just want to fucking go ahead and replace some tires and new rims. Then go ahead. I mean, I was I'm basically going to be replacing the the brakes, the, the what I'm going to be doing to this car is I'm going to be replacing the brakes and also the drum brakes and everything that's within this car for the braking system. And I'm going to also replace the the tires and the rims to make it a little more cool. And I'm going to restore this car to a newer design. So when people see it, it's like, how much do you pay for it? But technically, I paid this car for $1,000. But I'm going to restore this Avalon. And if this video does ever start gaining money on YouTube, then this car would start being modified. And some of the money that's left over would start going to charity. But here we are, going to start going again. Uh, we're gonna do a little drift. We're gonna go a little more faster. It's detecting it. Okay. It's doing a little good. Oh, oh, it's detecting bumps. Alright, we're gonna start losing control here. It won't really do much unless you're like spinning out about like 30 miles per hour then that's when it enables itself to make sure that like let's say if you ever do have a flat and you're like your tires just popped and you're going about like 50 miles down the road basically that's what the traction control is supposed to do it's supposed to help control the car while it's actually out of control so it can bring it back in line but yeah, this is the traction control for the Avalon 2004 XLS. It's wonderful. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, this car can go up to 140 miles per hour for this vehicle. But the newer Avalons, I heard that it can go up to 200 to 250 miles per hour. I don't know how true that is. But anybody who's an Avalon fan, let me know. This is a wonderful car. I love it. And yeah, uh, sooner or later, I'm going to be changing this to a push button, so I won't have to worry about keys, so I can go keyless. And uh, yeah, that would be wonderful, as we have no cars right here. We're going to do a little... I've actually found something a little interesting about the Avalon. Um, I might have to do it with no cars, although there's actually a car right there. So I'm going to hurry up and shift into L to overdrive, and I'm going to spin my tires. If I ever do start spinning out on the road, like, if I ever do have a flat going about like 50 to 60 miles per hour on the highway, I'm kind of glad that traction control can enable itself without having that check engine light that turns. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, turn on all notifications, and yeah, that's it for Betsy Rev.